Oh, good morning, babies. Our new family members to be here soon. They're here. Oh, how do you do the, oh, yeah, yeah. The babies. I'm so freaking excited, guys. I'm so excited. All right, guys, so me and my buddy, Sean, we just put an order through Houston Frogs, and we're gonna open up our new family members here. Huh, would you look at that? A box in a box. I like it. It came in gold wrapper. Is it my birthday, guys? Because it feels like it. All right, you guys ready for the mystery? Man, they just like to keep wrapping it up. I guess it really is my birthday. Oh yeah, guys, they look good and I'm super happy. Drum roll, please. I got eight different tadpoles of poison dart frogs. And one of the locales we got were Tinctorious Cobalts. And what's really cool on this label, it says how, it talks about how big they get and all the info about it. And what's really cool about these Cobalts, they'll have like blue legs and black backs, and they'll have like a yellow body on it. It's a great color combination, am I right? And also, I noticed that some of these tadpoles already has legs on it, dude, and it's super freaking cool. And we got a total of four of those. So I got two of those, and Sean got two of those. But now what else did we get? Hmm. And Sean decided to get a couple of these guys right here. He got some Dendrobates Aratus. He got the micro spots. Now they look similar to the Costa Ricans, but, but these micro spots have little more spottings on them. And as I'm looking at these tadpoles, these ones are much smaller than the other ones we got. These ones haven't had legs formed yet. So these are probably like freshly hatched here, probably about a week or two ago, something like that. All right, but now let's go to the coolest one of them all, which I got a couple of because this is all they had. And I got, I got some Vanessa Tinctorious and I've been looking everywhere for these guys and I just can't seem to find them. Like it, if for some reason, no one really has them. And then Houston Frogs actually had a couple. So I'm super excited to get tadpoles. I just had to jump right onto it. But what's really cool about these Vanessas is that they're all black and white and they just look so crisp and clean. And you can't see it here, but these guys have been developing for a little bit now. They have a little bit of back legs, but hey, they still sent us some more stuff here too. Let's take a look. And they also sent us some of this tadpole kits. And what's in the tadpole kit? So once we take a look at what's in the package, we'll be setting these guys up in their tadpole care. I'm excited for this part, stick around. All right, I'm gonna go over every item they put in this kit and its uses. All right, so in the kit that came with some tadpole food, this is like some tadpole bites, spirulina, I forgot what this was, and then for some enrichment, and I guess this can work as food too. This is some almond leaves they gave us, that's pretty cool. Some chihala wood, all broken up. I guess you throw these in the deli cups and they will provide some tan and just give the tadpole a look at something. Got some alderwood pine cones. They pretty much do the same thing. Look how small they are, freaking adorable. Then it came with some black water extract. This also has a bunch of tannins. You know, when you find them out in the wild, how the water's all brown and murky, that's pretty much what this is. And that's really good for them. And also it came with these really cute, tiny, like little measuring teaspoon cup thingies. But yeah, this is what we're gonna measure our food with and feed them with, pretty excited for that. And then also it came with a little bit of java moss to throw in for the tadpoles. That's pretty cool. This will grow out. It's healthy for them. The moss will also act like a purifier for the water by sucking up all the nasty nitrates and stuff like that. And the last thing I got was this little pippet sucker. So like when the tadpole poops, you can suck up all the poop and get it out of there. So that's really cool. I really like this kit so far. All right, let's get to setting up these tadpoles now. This is gonna be so much fun. All right, so I have four different deli cups right here, and I'm gonna be filling them all up with water. And the reason why I have separate ones is because tadpoles can cannibalize each other, so I wanna keep them separate as I'm raising them up. And after I fill it up with water, I'll be using this RepTi-Safe to dechlorinate the water. Then as the instructions state, we need to take the lid off of the capsules, and then just let them float like this for a couple hours. The reason why you gotta let it float like this for a couple hours is so that the tadpoles can adjust to the actual actual water in here because if we just dump them straight into the water since the water temperatures are different it'll put the tadpole in a shock and we don't want to do that because that could possibly kill the tadpole all right so let's wait two hours now the instructions say that we need to add 15 drops of black water then a piece of wood in each one then a couple cones in each one then a couple inches of the almond leaves and now we can finally let the tadpole free you're free little dude Man, this is gonna be so much freaking fun watching these guys metamorphose. And if you guys wanna see a video of them metamorphosing into a little froglet, then boot that like button for me. All right, now let's get to feeding these little guys. 
All right, it says to add three little pellets. So I'll do that to each one. Yeah, sorry to disappoint you guys, but they're probably not gonna eat right now. Makes sense, they just got set up and just got done being shipped, so they're probably stressed out. So the instructions recommend putting it somewhere at room temperature where they can get decent light for the moss to grow. So right here, perfect for these guys, I believe. Now I wish Sean would hurry up so he can see his tadpoles. I wanna really see the excitement on his face. Oh, speak of the devil. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> All right, Sean, which one are you most excited for? Uh, I like the Cobalts, but I've been really excited to work with the, the Erratus for a while. Um, it's not the Highland Bronze that I want, but my other spots should be just as equally as fun. Yeah, I mean, they're pretty cool, dude. Like, we don't have any erratus here yet. And plus, yeah. we don't got a green frog besides my red-eye tree frog. Yeah, so. you know, it'll be it'll be nice to add some uh, some other colors to the to the collection. So, pretty excited to work with these guys. <laughs> oh, yeah, you are, buddy. All right, guys, so Sean got to go home, set up his tadpoles, and I want to give Houston Frogs a total shout-out. And if you guys are looking for some tadpoles for some amazing dart frogs, then go to Houston Frogs. And if you guys are interested in seeing how I built some of my dart frog vivariums, I got some links right over here, and you guys can find them at the end screen. My name's Ryan. And I'm Sean. And you're watching Mighty Morphin Reptiles. Mm -hmm.